Hello again and welcome back to ADSR Pro with me Mike Smith. Just going to do another quick tutorial within Cubase 7.5. This time we're going to do uh, like an acid baseline or a, a step sequencer kind of patch uh, within Cubase. So as you can see I've already got just a basic loop within Cubase and Omnisphere. Uh, I've already got a patch, kind of an acidic sort of patch within uh, Omnisphere already. Again we're going to use a MIDI insert on the Omnisphere channel and this time we will use the step designer. So and as you can see here uh, currently uh, there's no steps in it at all. It's set up to 16 steps so what we can do is just quickly randomly just put a few steps in so you can hear there straight away you've, you've instantly got um, kind of like a, a 303 TB 303 sort of pattern with no musical theory based on it at all uh, what we will do is we'll just go let's just maybe try something like this uh, See how that sounds. You can reverse the pattern. Also, you can change the velocity of, of the notes. You can hear now it's getting more and more acid, acid baseline like. Also, you can change the amount of steps that you have within your sequence and the um, speed. So we can slow that down to eight. On 32s. So can we go down to 8 So you can see there, a uh, really, really handy tool um, just to create some intricate little uh, acid sort of bass lines or almost like little arpeggiated lines uh, within your track. Again, you can apply your music theory, uh, apply, you know, um, some scales in there so it, it fits in well with your track. And also, when, once you've got something you like, you can basically save that preset as, let's call this Acid Test. And there you've, you've always got, um, there you go, there's one I did earlier, and an Acid Test. So, and you can just build up your own your own patches simple as that great tool uh, really really useful again incorporated within Cubase 7.5 and earlier versions uh, another one of the overlooked things uh, that a lot of people tend not to use um, there is a load of sort of VST instruments out there that you know are like acid TB303 replications and stuff like that but to be honest you don't need them you know at Cubase has a lot of inbuilt stuff that's perfect for stuff like this so why don't you check it out don't forget also subscribe to my channel and if you like what I do or you've got any questions get in touch till next time bye bye